Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part four of the Neo Geo. The first thing I want to start with is the marquee. Now this cabinet originally was a single slot cabinet. I'm converting it into a four slot cabinet. Um, I did order the um, all the stuff for the marquee. This is actually for the, the memory card. Um, this stuff here, I bought all these light panels for the marquee. So I don't really know how any of this goes together yet. Um, I do know that we got to mount this piece of wood back up here. And then I believe those panels just mount to this wood. Problem is, is I got to figure out um, if it needs to be spaced out more or not. Because I think they need to be right up against the back of the glass. Let me go grab the piece of uh, plexiglass uh, marquee and we'll take a look at that. Okay. So to get this to work, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do to shim these out because these panels are really thin. Um, so basically they need to be right up against the back of this back of this marquee like this. I believe that's how they go. And then when you pop off this marquee, you can get in here and change your... Um, your marquees. So it's going to be pretty hard to get this in the exact spot that I need them to be in. I'm going to have to probably keep holding this up and positioning it until I get them to where they need to go. Um, Cause I don't have any other sort of brackets or anything like that. You know, clearly this wasn't set up for this, but these cabinets were used in a two slot and a four slot. Um, so do I mount this piece of wood here and then mount another piece of wood to it? Probably would be the easiest way, but I have these screws that go up and down here. So maybe I need to mount four individual strips of wood going up and down that screw into this piece. I think that's probably going to be my best bet. The only thing is I got to figure out how thick of uh, wood I'm going to need to get this built out to this outer surface. So basically... I need to just get like a straight edge or something and um, and hold it like this on this top and bottom because then we know that's how far out this has to go. So I got to hold this like this and hold this as my straight edge and then I need to measure from there back which it's pretty far. It's a pretty good distance. I'm probably going to need quite a bit of wood. Uh, to build that out. I don't know if I maybe want to just use like two by fours, three pieces or four pieces of two by fours, double thickness. That might actually work out pretty close to perfect. Um, I'm going to have to grab a tape measure. We'll get it measured. Hopefully we get this figured out here. Shouldn't be too bad. I bought those light panels probably a year and a half ago and I don't even remember where I ordered them from. They were from a different country. I know that. Um, doesn't look like there's any paperwork in here. Oh, wait, maybe there is. Yes, there is. Okay, these came from a company called, it just says Neo Geo LED Marquee. Um, just seeing if I can give you guys a company name or something. Neo Geo, Neo Geo LED marquee dot information. So it's probably www.neogeoledmarquee.com. That would be my guess. Um, it took a couple weeks to get them, I know that. Uh, but they look like a really nice setup. So let me go grab a tape measure. We'll measure up what our distance is, and then I'll have to go cut some wood, some pieces of wood and figure out how we're going to get these mounted in there. Okay, I grabbed a tape measure and this little ruler here. See if I can't hold it all together like this. These panels look like they're just 3D printed and then there's some sort of a LED light lights inside here. I don't know. I'm going to give you a close-up look here. They're supposed to work really well from the reviews I read on them. This is going to be fun.
three and a quarter inches. So I'm three and a quarter inches. A two by four is inch and a half. Two two by fours is three inches. I'm still a quarter inch short at that rate. Let me double check, get it more on the edge here. Three and a quarter. So I need a total thickness of three and a quarter. So I need two two by fours and a piece of quarter inch glue on. So I think what I'm gonna do, because a two by four is three and a half inches wide. Maybe what I should do is get two two by fours that go this way, building it out, and then a piece of quarter inch luon over top of the two pieces of two by four that is taller because the we need to have screws that go in the top and bottom here. And rather than having a ton of pieces of wood going up and down and a bunch of screws, if we just do two sideways and then a piece of quarter inch luon and we mount all these to that piece of quarter inch luon, a quarter inch piece of plywood is going to be plenty strong enough to put screws through this into it. These things weigh next to nothing. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm not going to video me cutting some wood. I'm going to go cut two two by fours that are the width of this opening. And then I'm going to cut a piece of uh, luon that is the width of the opening and is seven inches tall. So maybe seven and a half. I'll go seven and a half to give me a little bit more room. I just need to leave a little bit of room to get these wires to have an area to go down in. I can always drill a hole if I need to. So I'm going to go seven and a quarter by the width of the cabinet, which is 23 and three quarters. So I'm going to cut two two by fours and a strip of uh, luon or quarter inch plywood, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I have my wood cut. Now we are going to screw the two two by fours on first. Just gonna kind of center them on that other piece of wood. doing is I'm screwing into the side brace so I don't have screws hanging through the back side of the marquee where I can if I have to reach up there I don't want to get scratched okay two should be all I need for that here's my next two by four this one doesn't matter because these screws aren't long enough to go through everything. I'm going to put one more in the center. Just to keep it all together. one I went deeper so that I would go into that back piece of wood a little bit. All right, that's done. Now we could screw the quarter inch luon to those two by fours and then we should be about where we need to be, I think. Let's double check. Yep, should be good once we put that on there. We'll have to put the wires through the top. Now this one I'm going to put eight screws into it because it's thin and I don't want it to warp. Oops. Too high. OK, 
Okay, let's test this one more time. I'm happy with that. Okay, um, I guess I could drill through four holes so that the wires go through the bottom, just so that we have, I don't know how long these wires are, if it'll give me enough to go through the top or not. Plus it'll just sit better if I go through the bottom. So let me uh, go grab a drill bit. I couldn't put this any higher unless I made notches around that and I really didn't feel like doing that. Um, so now I'll have to go grab a drill bit in a minute here. I need to figure out where to place these. So this is basically perfectly flush with the top and bottom here, this piece of plexi. Same thing with the sides, it's not really moving around, but maybe a sixteenth of an inch at the most. So I technically should be able to measure and get them where they need to be. About an inch and a half from the bottom, two and a half from the side on the first one. So let's try that. So technically, this first one should go just like this. Right about there. Make it square with my wood. I cut my wood straight. These screws I have might be too thick. Might have to get some smaller ones. I'm not sure. Eh, they might work. Oh wait, that one's different than the rest of them. Okay, I'm not going to be able to use these screws. I need to find a screw that is flat headed. These have a bulge on them. I need to find a flat headed screw so that it doesn't bulge the plexiglass out. So that's going to be tough to find because I need a bunch of them. So let me go hunt these down. I know there's a couple in here, but I'm definitely not going to have 16 of them. Here's four. All right, let me go get some screws and I'll come back. Okay, I found a bunch of screws. So now hopefully these will work. What it looks like is these tabs are about perfectly flush with the top piece of that wood. So, in theory, if the cabinet's straight and my cut is straight, I should be able to use that as my reference, height-wise, all the way across. But you know what? I'm only going to put two screws for a second. I want to check this. Nope, I was wrong. I'm off. Perfect start. How did I screw that up? Oh, I know what I did. This needs to be inch and a half from the bottom. I went inch and a half from the top. See, I already screwed up. So I need to bring that down to inch and a half. Wait, oh, okay, inch and a half from there. So these are not going to be flush with the top. And then I want to bring it a hair that way. Bring this down, and I'm just going to actually just mark over a little bit farther on this one before I take it down. So now I've got to remeasure inch and a half minus this, which is just under three quarters. So inch and a half minus three quarters is three quarters plus a sixteenth. So 16th over 3 quarters, I believe. That's going to be touching the bottom. That's going to be like way down here. I wonder if I should try that. I'm going to put a screw right there and see what that looks like if it's touching on the bottom. Still got that little gap showing. It's like I need to go lower than that. <laughs> How the heck do they have this set up? 
how do I do that unless I cut those tabs off of there the bottom mounting tabs and I only mount it from the top tabs I think that's the only way that they're gonna work it's close but it's a quarter inch quarter inch that black line showing we're good right to left on this one so I need to go down a quarter of an inch and I have to cut these bottom tabs off it looks like I don't see any other way around it well yep. I mean two screws are going to be more than enough to hold this panel that doesn't even weigh a pound so I guess I'm just going to cut those bottom tabs off okay maybe they were planning these things to be used for like the big red cabinet maybe there's more room up there or maybe these are set back farther and there's some sort of a bezel that goes around them i don't know but this is the only way i have to mount them so it is what it is some brand new stuff okay now I don't want it to go bottom all the way to the bottom because then I think it'll be too low or will it actually no we'll just put it right flush to the bottom and then we'll just have to drill um, a separate hole on each side, I guess, for the wires. I'll have to put a purple wire through that side and a black wire through that side. So it looks like if I hold it flush to the bottom of this wood, it's perfect. So let me put my top two screws in and we will check it one more time. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere because the marquee is going to be in front of it. So it's going to hold it in place. I'm happy with that. That's perfect. You don't see any black. No black showing anywhere. So that this that's going to make it easy for lining these up. Because these are evenly spaced between each one. There is a one inch space between them. But we have to account for this too. Which is... 3 eighths and 3 eighths is 6 eighths, which is uh, 3 quarters, right? Yeah, so that's 3 quarters. These things are going to be almost touching each other. Let me grab another one. Cut the bottom tabs off again. All these have different colored wires. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it matters what order they go into. I don't think so. Probably as long as you just wire in the right color with the right one on the board. At least that's what I think. I mean, if I have to swap them around, that's not a big deal. Maybe the four slot has some sort of a, I mean, I'm sure you guys have one, but no, maybe there's some sort of like a plastic bezel or something that goes behind them. I'm not sure. But I mean, these things are going to be real close together because we only have a one inch space between the red. So right, right there is one inch. Test it. And now we need to go a hair more that way. So we're going to go a tiny bit over.
perfect. So we got two. So now, in theory, it should be the same distance apart from this one, which are 16th under one inch. Gotta go a little bit more. Because if I was off a little bit on the previous panel, that would throw it off a little bit. Okay, got one more to go. Here's a controller right here. This is the controller for it. And uh, it looks like you got one, two, three, four. You can do up to a six slot if this was a six slot setup. Um, so we need to wire those panels into one, two, three, four. So it really truly doesn't matter which one. And then also there's a reset here, a test switch and a brightness. You can make your marquee brighter or dimmer. And I'm guessing probably depending on what your quality of your marquees are printed. If they're printed and they're kind of light in print, if you have this cranked up with the LED panel behind it, it's gonna wash the colors out. So you might have to tweak this and turn it down a little bit so that it looks better. So let's get this last panel um, cut and put in. And then here is the wiring harness that goes from that controller and then it plugs into the main controller of the game I believe this is all new to me I've never done one of these Space this one, I think, the same as I did the last one, which will probably be wrong. Okay, I'll just do it like that. That looks pretty good. And I should put that controller box somewhere by the back door to where I can easily access it. Perfect. I'm very, very happy with that. Let me go see what the dogs are up to. All right. Um, those are all screwed in. I'm happy with where they're at. Now I need to drill some holes for those wires to go through that piece of quarter inch. Um, this is a five size bit. Is this I'm using? Five thirty seconds drill bit. It's going to do a hole on each side of the panel. Now, 
hopefully, I, I don't know if this game has a lock bar on the bottom for the marquee or not. I forget. It's been a while since I took this apart, but something's telling me that there's a lock that goes in here. So hopefully these wires won't interfere with that lock. Guess we'll find out. So what I need to do is these are knotted together because it, it references the black wire. You know, so I know that this black wire goes with this white wire. So what I'm going to have to do is feed this white wire and black wire through first. We'll just start on this one. So I'm going to feed this white one through and then the black one on this side. Then I'm going to, on the back side, I'm going to tie the two together again. Because if I don't, I'm going to get all of these black wires confused with each other. And I'm not going to know which one's where. And then I'm going to have to troubleshoot and figure out what wire went where. Now hopefully I can just reach up here you know what else i forgot to do for this game is i need to make a lower back door there was no lower back door when i bought the cabinet so i gotta get one of them i cannot see where this wire is at okay so there's that one so that's our first panel so i'm going to knot them together back there where i can reach the first one i'm gonna go ahead and do these out of three then i'll come back there's no point in me uh videoing me tying wires back there okay all the wires are into the cabinet just hanging down on the back there they're all knotted back together so i know which one goes to which what i'm going to do here on this piece of plywood this piece of plywood is where my um pcb mounts for the four slots um i think it mounts right to left because unless it's dark deep enough to go the other way, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is off to the corner in here, I am going to write down slot one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to write down Okay, one through four. The first one's yellow. I'll put a, put a Y next to it. Second one is blue. Third one's white. Fourth one is purple. So I know that that'll always be in there. And when I go to put a game in there, I know which slot to put it in. I currently only have four games for this. So it's not like I have a lot of games. So let's stick these uh, marquees in there. And then after that, I'm, I'm sure I'll get more games in the future. I don't, I don't, I'm not really a much of a fighting game person. So I don't see myself getting a lot of fighting games. You know, a few, yes, but I don't plan on getting a lot of them. So uh, Bust a Move is one that I have. Um... I know I have uh, Metal Slug 3. This Metal Slug 3 right here. Uh, Wind Jammers. And the fourth one, I honestly forget what I have. Oh, I know what it is. Nightmare in the Dark. Nightmare in the Dark. So let's put Wind Jammers and Nightmare in the Dark. And then we'll put Bust a Move and Metal Slug last. So these should just go like this. You should just be able to fold them right in place. They fit nice. Now, by looking at these, these are repros. They do look a little bit washed out, so I might have to mess with the lighting a little bit. This one doesn't look... This one definitely looks more saturated in color. These two look really light in color, so I'm going to have to probably turn the brightness down. Like this one has real nice saturation, real nice color to it. So now I need to find the brackets and we can put the plexiglass on 
and I think we're done up in this area. Throw this garbage over here. I'll have to look through that, make sure I'm not throwing anything away that's important. Um, let's just hold this up here one more time to get an idea. I think that looks awesome. Looks really good. Happy with that. A little bit of the end for Nightmare in the Dark got cut off and a little bit of the B, but I mean, you can only ask for so much. I don't really care for this white line right here on this one. You can see it a little bit, but I mean, it was like I said, there's only so much you could do. I don't know why they put a white line around that one only. Oh, there it goes. You can slide it down. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. I don't know if you could, these ones are kind of tight. Let's see if I fixed that one or not. Yes, I did. Good enough. All right, let me go find the brackets. Actually, they might just be right here. Give you a look. Yep, okay, this bottom one does have a locking bar. I thought it did. So it goes like this. So hopefully <laughs> I didn't screw myself and I can get in here to get some uh, nuts in there. Looks like I can. I got to do it from the back side. So basically when you want to get in here and change your marquees, you just open this lock. This drops down. You slide your marquee out and you're ready to change them. So I need to get this cabinet readjusted and uh, take that top door off. And then try to get up in there and get these uh, nuts put on the back of this lower marquee bracket. And I'm going to have to get a lock for it. Um, so let me get this spun around and set up and I'll come back. Okay, as I went to turn the cabin around and look, I cannot get to those bolts from the backside. I should have put that bracket on before I put this piece of quarter inch lou on on. So what I need to do is loosen up need to take this piece of quarter inch plywood back off so that I can drop this down and get to those four nuts that I have to put on. It's not the end of the world. At least uh, I know where these go. There's already markings of them. Sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, that should be all I need to take out. I think I can just take this and put it right up here like that. I'm going to take these and flip them over so they're not dangling on the wires. Now I can get my four nuts in for those uh, brackets, or for the lower marquee bracket. Once I find my bucket and bolts, which I don't know where I put those. Oh, here they are up here. So I need to find four nuts that fit that. Four nuts and four washers. All right. Okay. All right, slide this up there. Get them all started, and then I'll have to go grab a wrench and tighten it down. And then we'll be able to put the light bracket back in or the piece of quarter inch plywood back in with the lights on it and we can put the marquee on and we should be done in here blowing all the dust out um, there's a couple speakers I need to put in but those I can get from the back side yeah you got to do those from the back side it looks like which is fine or maybe I should mess with them on the front. Maybe I should put them in these two screws right here. The front two speaker screws look like it's gonna interfere with this piece of wood. So let me get these on and we'll put the two speakers in. I don't wanna to have to take this back apart a second time. the wrench and stuff I need and I'll come back. 
All right, I'm gonna get these tightened up. At least uh, the wood I put in here is easily removable. So if ever, for some reason, it got changed to something else or whatever, it can be easily taken apart and nothing is destroyed. Okay, we have those tightened. Now, these are my two speakers that came out of the cabinet. They're in perfect shape, nothing wrong with them. I need to at least get the two screws on this side for now. Then when I spin the cabinet around to put that controller for the marquee, I can uh, put the other screws in. Um, see what screws they used originally. I think it's these silver ones here. There's eight of them. Found seven of them. There it is. Yep, I got them all. Okay, um, hopefully my skew driver here, this little angle, will fit with a small bit on there. So I'm going to grab a small bit, Phillips bit. Put it in here. Grab my little drill. Because there's already holes in the wood, so it won't be hard to get these back in. Shouldn't be hard. It's kind of a tight fit. If I have to take the wood out, I will. But I'm really trying not to take everything else, everything apart that I just did. Uh, it's got some crushed walnut shells inside of it. Look at how nice it cleans the screws and everything though. Is it going to fit? Got it started by hand. Perfect. Just gotta get the other one in now. And I'm pointing my terminals for the speakers out back, straight out the back of the cabinet. Just making sure this one's good. These look like they're like a four inch speaker. started I don't want to tighten it up and then I can't move the speaker to get the other one lined up
Perfect. If any of you guys are working on cars or arcade games or anything, go to Home Depot and buy yourself one of these. They're made by Milwaukee. It's the best thing you can buy to get into tight areas and uh, just makes life a million times easier. Never would have been able to do that if I didn't have that. I'd have had to take all this wood out of here, grab a short stubby screwdriver to screw those in. So now I can stick this like that. I gotta kind of pull these wires so I don't get them stuck. I'll have to pull these ones in a minute. I don't really like the fact that they're dangling by the wires, but like I said, they are so light that I don't really see it doing much damage to them. Marquee is sliding down. Okay, now we get these panels back in. I'll just pull the wires afterwards. One purple wire is, I got that stuck. That's not good. That's not good at all. That sucks. I don't know how I did that. Uh, got it trapped underneath a piece of plywood. Hoping I can just pry out this one corner here. Just enough to get this purple wire to come through. Come on. There we go. Saved it. Of course, I dropped my screw in the bottom of the cabinet, which is always awesome. corner. Found it. All right. Now we'll test this panel one more time. The marquee. Make sure everything's still lining up. Yes, it is. Okay. I do have a lock here, so I can put a lock on this bar. I still got to put four screws in the speaker once I spin the cabinet around. So basically, this video is just going to be me working on this marquee. So if anybody buys one of these and wants to know how to do it or how I did it, you'll be able to see. Like I said, I don't know if my way is exactly the right way, but it works.
Now this is going to have a different lock than the coin door. So what I'll do is once again, I'll hang this key inside the cabinet because my bottom coin door lock and this lock and the back door locks will all match. And then the top coin door lock will match all the other coin doors in the arcade down here. I'm starting to run out of the matching locks, so I have to go around to any of my games that have a upper and lower coin door, and I need to um, switch out the lower one for a different lock, different style lock. I think this has got to go this direction in order to fit. I don't know if that's going to be too long or not. I'm going to have to probably tie up those wires a little bit inside. I don't want this to snag on them. It's not like I'm going to be opening this very often, but still. Looks like the wires are okay right now, but... Okay, it's real loose. So I'm going to try to put this on the opposite direction. Flip it around. This way. Blue and white wire are a little bit in the way. Why won't the key come out? Oh boy. Now I did it. Broke the key. Luckily I have a hundred keys. What the heck? I'm gonna throw that one away. A whole box of matching keys in here. I don't understand why the key doesn't want to come out. What is wrong with this one? I think it's got a bad lock. I've never had a bad one of these. I wonder if the lock is bad. Or did I grab the one that uses the other key? Because like I said, I had some that had one a different key than another. No? something well this lock does not want to work did I tighten the nut too tight no well I guess I'm putting a different lock in I don't know what's wrong with this lock uh, I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time fighting with it Yeah, it just doesn't want to spin. It's like super tight. So I'll leave the key in it because I know that that's messed up. Let's try this one. Works fine.
Okay. Round two. <laughs> the key won't come out. Something's up with this. What is the problem? 6178. This box owner says 6178. I know why. I'm an idiot. So when it's in this position, this is the unlock position. Okay, that's why. That's what the problem is, because the key won't come out when it's in the unlock position. So we gotta switch this cam around. I think like this. So that it'll go this way and that'll come out. So right here is unlocked. So this would be the unlocked position. Hopefully that works. Or I'm probably doing it wrong still. I don't know. Because how am I going to get it to swing up there? No, that's not right. Is it? Yeah, that, that's right. No, it's not. I'm still wrong. I'm doing this in reverse, so I'm a little bit confused here on what I'm doing. So what am I thinking here? You don't come out again. I wonder if this whole batch of locks is bad. Did I get a bad batch of locks? Apparently. How can it just get stuck in there? I barely did anything. Oh my god. All right. Well, I'm going to pause this until I get a lock that works. Okay. I figured it out. What happened was, is on the lock, that cam had slid away a little bit so the lock the key spun all the way around the lock so I couldn't get the key out because it was facing the opposite way so now I can drop it down key stays in it and when it goes up go like that key comes out so we are good there so now we can just leave that locked take this off and we can put the uh, marquee on and then we can get the top bracket screwed in These uh, artwork came from uh, Joe Zabo. I want to bring this Nightmare in the Dark one down a little bit, if it'll let me. Like that. Let's see if that looks better. There. Much nicer. Okay, now I got to get that upper bracket. And we got to get the screws for up here. And I think these were just regular wood screws up here. I don't remember. Brackets right here. Three screws. I'm guessing they're just regular screws. I'm going to use my normal uh, screws with the safety security bit on them. So let me go grab three of those. All right, let's get this screwed in. Find the other hole. Once again, these are the type of screws I use. Don't know if the camera focused in on that or not, but it's just a Torx bit with a, a pin in the middle for the security screw. All my marquee brackets I use the same screws on. I think that turned out awesome. I think that looks very well. Looks really good, rather. I think that turned out very well. 
Um, so I got all the artwork from Joe, the uh, marquee, the control panel, and the piece for the um, memory card, which I don't have a memory card, but I did buy, because obviously I didn't have the computer, the, the single slot, or the memory card thing for this cabinet. So I did manage to find this. Um, I don't remember if this is new. Yeah, it's new. This is a new one. So hopefully this fits in this cabinet. I don't know if this has two slots or one. Hopefully it's only one. I don't remember what I bought for the artwork. But this is supposed to mount in here. Over here somewhere somehow. You know, I don't know if I got to have brackets or whatever I need to do. So that this slot corresponds with the slot in that front metal piece. But that'll be on another video. Because something's telling me that's going to be a pain in the butt to line up as well. So that'll be a next uh, one of the next feats. All right, so let's spin this cabinet around and let's do the, um, let's get the control board hooked up for these. And then that's going to be the end of this video. This will be the end of part four. Tomorrow we'll start with, uh, maybe we'll start putting the computer in it tomorrow. I call it a computer, whatever you want to call it. Four slot, JAMA board. Okay, I think I'm just going to put that controller board right here right in the corner. Um, gotta get some screws for it, of course. I have some over here though, I think. Where did I put the, here it is. Um, I wonder if I should mount it on some standoffs. Eh, yeah, I guess I should. Let me go grab four little standoffs to keep it away from the wood. I don't want to put it right up against the wood. I don't think it'll affect anything, but eh, might as well. Let me go grab four of those. Okay, I put these little feet on the bottom. Now I can mount it to the wood. I think before I mount it to the wood, though, I'm going to mount it this direction here. Well, maybe this way. Because I want to be able to access this uh, brightness pot. So now I want to put these wires on here first before I screw this in here. So this is our first panel. I'm basically going from left to right. So our first panel is yellow and black. And seeing that every panel has a black wire, my guess is that the black wires are negative. So we will stick the positive in here. Tighten down our set screw. Just go along and do all four of them like that. And I'm not going to cut these wires. I'm leaving them the length they are. I'll, I'll uh, zip tie them and screw them to the cabinet side if I got to tie them up or whatever I got to do. I'd rather leave them long in case I ever needed to move it or do something different with it. Our second set is blue. Basically, it goes positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way down. Oh, my white wire, I didn't tighten up enough. Forgot to tighten the white wire. Stuck it in there and never turned the screw. Thought I did. Apparently I didn't. Tug on them. They're all tight so far. 
She got this purple wire left, and these are all wired. Okay, now we can screw this into the side. Beautiful. I'm gonna put a zip tie on these. I'm gonna kind of group them all together over to this one side. It's not gonna look pretty, but like I said, I don't wanna cut these wires and for some reason need to move it or something. Screw this one into the cabinet. Perfect. Okay. So there it is mounted and get right to my pot right there to turn the brightness up on my Wires are coming over to the one side. They're just zip tied up there. All right. Um, let me spin this cabinet back around. This is going to end part four of the Neo Geo. Tomorrow we will continue on with uh, getting the PCB mounted and uh, start running the wiring in the cabinet. But I think it looks really nice so far. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching part four of the Neo Geo. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow.